What's happening guys? Welcome back to my reaction series to Clannad. So, uh, Patreon reaction actually to Clannad. Sorry about that. Um, so last episode, uh, we've got uh, the, I think like a festival, school festival coming up. Um, so everyone is getting organized for that. But uh, Ozazaki and uh, uh, Furukara, they are going to try and get um, Fuko, uh, sorry, um, Ibuki and uh, her older sister together to see if, like, I guess if she can see, the older sister can see Ib Ibuki because Ibuki is a ghost and uh, her body is currently, um, her real body, I should say, is currently at the hospital she's been in a coma this entire time so yeah she's like a wandering like spirits at the moment so yeah let's jump into uh the next episode of uh clannad episode six um in three two one oh That's a lot of time to sp spend on making new sweets. <laughs> I do like her though. And then now oh, you're crying again. <laughs> <laughs> totally change of character. And <laughs> back to where we were. <laughs> Damn, that, that's a bit harsh to like have a like a bakery store, family ba run bakery store where like you make sweets and bread and all that. And well, from what I've gathered, she having someone who's not good at actually cooking or baking. Or at the very least, um, makes up weird combinations of these uh, of these different types of bread that nobody actually wants to try them. I, <laughs> that's another possibility. Older and Younger Sisters Founders Festival. I was just totally wrecked. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that seems like a prank call. It's, I'm hoping so. Oh, yes, the old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. All these starfish. So she, of course, he's... Uh... And off she goes. <laughs> so for the years in the future. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love that it's like the only building still standing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that God or the devil? <laughs> I think that was a Final Fantasy reference, I think. Yeah, that was only a joke. <laughs> That's mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Never see heard of that happening before when you put juice up somebody's nose. I think it was juice anyway. Uh, we don't know if that's actually going to be possible, right? Oh. Ah, a fan club, huh? I see. <laughs> oof, oof. <laughs> so that's one way of putting it I guess like she's got an interesting personality that was fast Yeah, the Founders Festival. I'm going to assume it's where celebrating the how the school was founded. Doesn't really happen here in Australia. A founding, we have festivals, but we don't have a founding festival. Anything to stop being, um, uh... <laughs> oof. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. You're very po you kind of suck at fighting. <laughs> oh, this should be good. Is he go is how good is he going to be?
Okay. Yeah, where did that come from? Uh, no. <laughs> well, you're in this room as well. The starfish. Uh, that's a frog. <laughs> you just cut yourself. <laughs> I would just say yes, you should go get that bandaged. Not quite. <laughs> oh, right, the fiance. He seems to be a, a nice guy. Mm-hmm, okay. She really does care for her sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even I said he looked like a kind person. I think something's going to stop this from happening. Like, it's going to be like, everyone else can see her, Fuko, but the older sister. Like the hacky sex? <laughs> what? She's even still holding the, like, one of the, uh, starfish. <laughs>
Yep, she's awake. <laughs> Are they really at the school already? It's vaguely horrible. It was not quite what... Yeah, I said vaguely, yeah. Out of habit. <laughs> <laughs> the Starfish Festival. That was adorable. That's a little starfish. All oh, right, the yeah, the uh, the fan club. <laughs> uh, yeah, there she goes. <laughs> Yeah, even I'm wondering, how did she change if she was, like, out of it for so long? Yes. <laughs> yeah, she is working very hard. May got to say made outfits always look good. All right, okay, fine. Waitress in this regard. Yes, yeah, so far. That might actually work, yeah. Then you'll be officially a club. Wait, there shouldn't be, be others already? <laughs> yeah, only for like a second. Oh. I know who that is. No, nope. yep. I, I, you really don't want to mess with that bear. You really don't want to mess with that bear. Yep. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, it's Tommy O. I see.
But in this case, I will accept it. She definitely is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably. Oh. Oh, hello again. Hmm. Well, that's a, an improvement over what happened last time. That is a big improvement, actually. Hmm. <laughs> So even giving it to the uh, parents that have come in. Well, I'm assuming it's parents. There could be other people as well. Yeah, I have a feeling she can't... Yeah, I, yeah, that's my guess. She can't see. Yeah, I was right. She can only see. There's... Yeah, okay, that explains it. I was right on the money. I was... R oh, that's harsh, though. For well, the fact that everyone else can see Ruko, but her older sister. That is just painful. Oh, jeez. That would be an awful experience to have in like if all of a sudden like well let's just say you're in an accident and yeah you do get do have a like an outside of body experience and you think or you don't know that you are still in a coma. I know in reality something like that is like impossible but what i'm trying to get at here is like if that would be just an awful experience to have yeah i figured out that you know ruko and her older sister i know she has a name i just keep forgetting it um maybe i should just call her by ruko's last name Vicky, i think it is Star-shaped feelings. Okay. That will be for next week. Anyway. Oof, yeah. I thought, thought as much, yeah. 
Ibiki san, meaning Fuko's uh, older sister, cannot see Fuko at all. Um, I, uh, I had a feeling that was going to be the case, but yeah, it's very interesting that like no one else, well, I mean, sorry, everyone else, I should say, everyone else at the school at the very least and outside of the school, in fact, can see uh, Fuko, but her older sister cannot. Hang on, I'm just going to see if the older sister is listed on my list so I can actually get her name. Oh, there it is. Um, uh, Coco. Coco? Coco? Something like that? Yeah. That, that's, oh, that's just harsh. Uh, great episode all the same, though, but I had a feeling it was going to lead to that. Yeah, it wouldn't be as simple as that. No way would it going, was it going to be as simple as that, of oh, just her uh, coming to the school and seeing that uh, uh, Fuko was there. Like, yeah, especially since I think it's it's kind of obvious the reason, well, for me, this is how I see it. The reason why she can't see her younger sister is because uh, Coco, uh, Coco, somebody in the comment section, let me know how it's pronounced, um, knows that she's in, her younger sister is in the hospital. So that's probably like blocking her, for, that's stopping her from seeing uh, Coco being there. But yeah, very interesting idea and concept. I love the idea and concept of that. Um, because I think, yeah, if it was like your siblings or your parents that are going through the same ordeal, yeah, imagine how you, you would feel about that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below. You can find a link to my latest video over here, link to my YouTube channel over here, find links to my Discord, Amulist, Patreon, etc. in the description below. I think at the moment, though, I am full up on... Patreon at the moment. I've got quite, uh, I've got a uh, you know Slayers, I've got um, Planet, and I've got um, I've just started uh, Love uh, Chinobu and uh, other delusions. So yeah, probably best I stick away, stay away from any other starting from any other shows at the moment. So for the time being, let's just say uh, the Patreon requests are closed until I finish these shows. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts of this episode in the comment section below and have a great day, guys.